my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to this video which is going to be a wrapping tutorial for this wrap which is going to be the Happy New Year wrap. <laughs> Because, sweeties, I know, maybe not everybody knows that actually we in Judaism, we are going to have in a few days uh, our new year. And that's why I'm calling that wrap that way. It's That's the only reason. This wrapping tutorial is in collaboration with Rapunzel, who has supplied everything that is wrapping related that you're seeing here in this video. And um, I also posted a picture of this wrap or a very, very similar one with the same basic idea the other day on the Rapunzel Facebook. Uh, Facebook group and it looked like this at least this was the look I don't know if it was exactly that picture but this look and it is a tiny little bit different because my scarves were a little bit longer <laughs> so but I will also explain to you in the tutorial part what the difference is and how you can sort of adjust it okay I'm using three scarves you can use two and I also want to mention it already now because not everybody's watching till the end so I just wanted to mention now that um, this is now going to be my last video wrapping tutorial related for two weeks because I'm going to have of course holidays coming up and the whole holiday season which will stretch till like into uh, October will be affected you know my whole upload schedule is going to be a little bit different so this coming week if you're seeing this on release this coming week is going to be the fast of Gedalia and then the week after that is the day of atonement Yom Kippur so these two dates I'm going to take off after that I will definitely update you maybe I can also then just switch the switch videos around on my channel and then have my wrapping tutorial on a different day so uh, please make sure that you're subscribed and you have your notifications on so you don't miss it in case that happens besides that I hope you will enjoy the tutorial and without further ado let's go right into it Okay, sweeties, welcome to the tutorial part for the New Year's wrap. Okay, I'm wearing my Wendy Shaper, the blonde one, uh, which I really, really love. This one is the way I got it. It's not overstuffed. This is how it sits on me. Okay, I'm starting with the petal soft in black. And for this wrap, I would actually recommend you use things that don't have fringes, but um, even I am using something that has fringes. But I have done this wrap before with my own private scarves, not using fringes, and I felt that was really, really really cool and I will also tell you the difference you know I hope I don't forget but anyway <laughs> all right so let's just introduce this scarf to you this is the petal soft it is one of my most favorite concepts on the Rapunzel website I love these scarves because they are so easy so light and so like easy to wrap with you know so anyway they come in different colors this one is of course the one in black and I'm going to flip it in a little bit because it is one of the wider scarves you know I'm going to flip it in a little bit and then I'm going to put it down from the top down like this and I'm going to cross over behind my head and now I'm just going to sort of you know sort it out a little bit so it doesn't bulge up here because sometimes if you don't do that then you get these weird loops here so I'm just sort of straightening it out a tiny little bit and then I'm going to just tie a knot like this again like last time I'm leaving a little bit of space like in front here after after the knot or behind the knot you can always pile up stuff it's it doesn't matter because you know at least when you're using the Wendy Shaper you do have a lot of space still to fill here if you want to but before um, in front of the knot you have to leave a little bit of space because of course we're going to put something down there so for now I'm just going to leave it like this we're going to fill up the space in just a second so I'm going to use the can't catch me scarf which looks like this it just fits into my color scheme today and it has tassels it doesn't have fringes it has tassels which doesn't matter so much but what I would suggest um, if you want to have better results better like how I created that wrap is when you have something that is again like sorry scarves I just don't want to use sorry scarves all the time because I kind of feel like it gets boring for you and I'm constantly using uh, sorry scarves and I also don't have like all the color schemes that I need so that's why I'm just using something else but just so you know if you're using something that has a little bit more grip to it that holds itself a little bit better then you get more more like results that are more vol voluminous okay so anyway this is the one that I'm using this is the can't catch me scarf it's super colorful has different patterns super super pretty if you ask me this is like this is my life stuff like this 
you know <laughs> yeah okay so in each corner we have a uh, tassel and that is all about this and then I'm also going to use a tough two-in-one this one is the one in coral now this one is not the perfect scarf for this probably because they are so light and they don't hold themselves up you know they're just super soft and super easy to wrap but for wraps that like where I want to have a little bit more volume it is not the perfect scarf also it has fringes you know so anyway this is what it is but I wanted to have this color in my wrap okay so now I'm just going to line them up like this and you can also just use one scarf instead of uh, two I'm just using two because <laughs> you know I need to be a little bit of you know you know you know me already right so I'm going to take them like this next to each other and I'm going to place them here in front of the knot now of course you can you know you can do it like this and hide one color and then the color the other color pops up later in the wrap like by a miracle or you can just do it like this and from the get-go everybody sees both colors okay so this is what I'm doing now and I'm going to cross over behind my head like this. Now I'm going to flip this part down and now I'm going to tie a knot behind like this. Okay so for now I'm just going to push this here to the back and now I'm going to deal with this one. So now I'm going to just tie a knot here but a very very loose one. You know this is just supposed to be loose okay like this now if you're using a smaller scarf because these the petal softs they do have this thing because of the texture it is like a little bit rippled that they do hold their own how does one even say that they they hold themselves a little bit better you know you can create volume with those so that's why if you uh, just tie in a loose knot then it it's going to be enough with other scarves you might have to maybe tie two knots or something okay but the the whole idea is that it is loose okay it's just supposed to give some height and some some volume and now i'm just going to tuck it away on both sides of course Okay, so now what I'm doing is, let me just adjust my mirror because it's getting a little bit too high now. Okay, now with these here, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Just have to figure out where everything is. Wait, where is my here? Ah, it is inside. Okay, so now I'm doing exactly the same thing and I'm going to tie a knot, a loose one again, like this. And I'm going to push it down okay so now the thing is that I what I said to you in the beginning of the tutorial where I'm going to tell you the difference okay now when you have something a scarf that doesn't have tassels and also holds itself a little bit what you can do is which is really really nice because they're going to be really short already once they come here out of the knot so what I did before with my other wraps that I did with my own scarves is that I just pushed it a little bit in behind the knot and then all of that just stands up you know and it sort of gives this messy kind of nice thing you know I love this I love it when when wraps are like this so but with um, when you have fringes it doesn't it, it's not the same it can also have its own charm but it's not the same now um, I wish now they would stick out a little bit more honestly but it is what it is so with my other scarves, either I tied the wrap uh, tighter and that's why I had more left over afterwards or my scarves were longer, I don't know, but it is what it is. So anyway, this is how it looks. <laughs> so you have all these different levels, which I think is really, really nice. It makes it super interesting and, and that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me just turn around for you and show you how it looks. And from the top all right so this is it I hope you did enjoy yourselves of course you will find as much as I can link a uh, link in the description box as well as also the contacts for Rapunzel my social media where you can check out more stylings more everything whatever you want to see and besides of course if you want to order something from Rapunzel you can use my affiliate code which is Queen Leora in all caps in one word which will give you 5% of your order besides that I just want to bless all of you with a very very happy new year even if maybe in your 
religion, you're not celebrating the new year yet, but I still want to bless all of us that uh, we'll just, the whole world should be set free from all the troubles and all the hardships that we are going through everybody on a different level, everybody in different things, but I think we can all agree on the fact that nobody is really having the super best time of their lives right now. So maybe just go through this next year. May it be a blessing. May it be sweet as honey for all of us. And, um, and that's all. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. If you're new here, I would really, really like it if you were to subscribe to my channel. And besides that, I'm not going to see you here next week or the week after. I'm going to have a break because of the holidays. So that is that. But after that, I'm going to come back, hopefully with new ideas and uh, still exciting for you. So <laughs> I'll see you then. And if you, of course, subscribe to my channel already, then you will also see, of course, other videos on my channel. Don't forget to tag me when you're uploading pictures on social media. I will definitely want to see what you're doing with my wraps and besides that I want to wish you a wonderful day or a wonderful evening and definitely go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye